Okay, we want to find all the critical values for this function right here. I'm going to go to the iPad and work this problem, but I'm going to tell you ahead of time, these are the critical values, negative 4, 0, and 1. So let's go to the iPad and actually do the work finding those critical values. Here I have my function. I want to find the critical values, so I start by taking the derivative. So the derivative is going to be f prime of x equal, okay, I have one-fourth for the coefficient. I multiply by the exponent. I get four times one-fourth is one times x to a power one less, x cubed. Differentiate the second term, 3x squared. Differentiate the last term, 4x. Now, there is my derivative, and to find the critical values, I simply set this equal to zero. So I'm going to say cv right here for critical values. That's why I set it equal to zero. Now I have an equation left to solve, so I'm going to start by factoring it. I'll factor an x out. I get x squared. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Plus four, whoops. I'll start by factoring out an x. So I have x times x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. I continue to factor, and I have x times x plus 4 times x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, now I'll um, look at that, and when I set each of these factors equal to 0, I have my three critical values x equals 0. When that factor, is, first factor is 0, x equals negative 4 when the second factor is 0, and x equals 1 when the third factor is 0. So there's my three critical values, and I found them by first finding the derivative, setting the derivative equal to 0, solving the equation that resulted, and I end up with the three critical values. Okay, so now that we've found these critical values algebraically, let's go to our graphing program Desmos and take a look and see what those critical values give us when we look at the graph of this original function. So let's go to Desmos and take a look. So here we're in Desmos. We've input our equation right here. This is the graph. And if we look on the graph for the critical values we got for x, we see at x equal negative 4, one of our critical values, the graph has a low point, at x equals 0, a high point, and at x equals 1, a low point. So it's going to take us a little bit before we get to the point where we can find these high points and low points algebraically, but for right now you can see how the critical values and the graph correspond to each other.